Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Learning Destinations. I am your host, Avinas, and today, once again, I am back with a very interesting topic. And in this session, I am going to tell you that how you can load the data from Amazon S3 bucket into rag based model. So, firstly, the data is loaded from the S3 bucket. After that, it is split into small pieces of chunks, and then further, it is embedded. So, for embedding, I am using OpenAI embedding models. and once it is the data is embedded after that it is stored into the vector store and for vector store i am using chroma db for those who doesn't know about the rag and how does it work let me explain it first so if i explain it in layman term you understand suppose you have the custom data that is not part of train model in such scenarios still you want to query from your custom data then how will you do it in such scenarios, the rack comes into the picture and it stands for retrieval argument generation. So in general scenarios, when you give prompt and query to the LLM, LLM tries to find the information from its train model and if it finds, it gives you the response. If it doesn't find, then it queries back to the vector store. At this place, I am using Chroma DB. However, there are several options available into the market and you can go any one of them like Pinecone single store. Uh, data is already loaded from the Amazon S3 bucket into this vector store. You can also load the data from the local folder from your local computers. So if you see my previous uh, tutorial chat jeopardy with your own custom data here I have loaded the data from my local folder. So if you are interested something like that you want to load the data from your local folder you must watch this video. This is my channel name Avinash Kumar the learning destinations. Okay, coming back to the topic. So here in this case, I'm going to show you that how you can load the data from Amazon S3 bucket. So once once this LLM, since uh, your custom data is stored under this vector store and then LLM queries back to the vector store, then it finds the information and that's how finally it serves the data with the accurate response. That's how the rag system works. All right, guys, now it's time to perform the practical sessions. So I have already code ready with me. Uh, let me explain you this code first. Okay, so here I have used this class S3 directory loader from LangChain framework. And this one you can easily find on LangChain official website. So simply you need to type LangChain AWS S3 directory upload and after that you will land into this page. If you search with this keyword on the Google and then the first link you need to open then you will land on this page. Okay, so basically I am using this class S3 directory loader from here from LangChain framework. There is a, another options if you want to up, uh, load the file rather than directory rather than entire S3 bucket. If you want to use only the file then you need to use this class S3 file loader. Okay. That is the same I have used since I want to upload the entire S3 bucket and that is the reason that I have used S3 directory loader. Okay. Uh, then after that I am passing this open AI keys and then here in loader you can see I have defined this bucket name. Okay. Uh, let me go back here. So generally this one is your bucket name that is the same bucket I have defined where I am going to upload my documents okay here if you want to pass file also or some prefix right so suppose your uh, file name is data.txt or something so you can pass like this okay uh, since I am performing on this machine this machine is already having the AWS uh, secret key and access key which have the administrative right however uh, if you don't have you can directly pass access keys and secret keys like this okay and in the same way you can pass the secret keys as well okay the code is already ready everything it is ready all you need to visit my github account this uh, you need to visit this repository called rag and if you come across on this script rag s3 hyphen dot py okay this one rag s3.py here you will see the example how you can put the access keys and secret keys okay but in this machine i have already configured my aws account so i don't need to flash it okay so and then uh, this is just only for the entire bucket and you want to put the file name as well okay so you can write in such a way and after that here 
I'm using again the this framework. Let me character text is splitter. Okay, so here I'm using this class from Langchain, and then I'm splitting the uh, this document. It means the document which is getting loaded from this place. Right here I'm splitting it, and then in, for retrieval query here in doc search, I'm using the Chroma DB, and I'm passing this splitted chunks. And I'm doing embedding, and for embedding, I'm using OpenAI embedding. Okay. Now in retrieval QA query, you see here for retriever, I'm using doc search, and here I have already defined the doc search as a Chroma DB. Okay. Now rest of the things is simple. Here I'm using GPD-3.5 hyphen turbo LLM, and this this part is just to put your query as a input. So that's the explanation of the code. Now we are going to test. Let's see whether it's working or not, whether it works or not. Okay, all right, guys, let's run this applications. Okay, so firstly, I'm directly going to query, uh, query from the LLM. Okay, so I give prompt something like this. I ask. What is Kanban process? Okay, so I received the response. It's too large. <laughs> it's too long answer. Anyway, okay. Uh, let's ask something different. Uh, what is Agile in? What is Agile? Explain me in five lines. Okay, so it gives us the answer in five lines. So here I, I'm directly querying from this LLM. Okay, now it's time to query from the custom data. Now, this is my bucket. This is the same bucket which I defined inside the code and this is my data. Okay, now I'm going to query from this data. So I'm asking who is Avinash? I'll show you the document as well. Okay, so he's saying Avinash is a technical architect working at Accenture. Okay, this is the same I have defined here. This is the same file which I already uploaded. Okay, I already uploaded over there. Now, so it is giving me the perfect answer. Okay, now I'm going to upload second custom data set live. Okay, so I'm going to upload this one. Okay, so as of now, if I ask uh, who is who has started or who is owner of Gen AI X? So he, so this system is saying that I don't have any informations because this informations I have given under this this one, okay? This data and this data set is not yet uploaded into S3 bucket, okay? If I go and check, there is only data.txt. So what I'll do? I'll upload it now. So I go, I go to document, chatbot, my data, JNAI data. I upload it. Now it is successfully uploaded. Okay, here we have the data. Now at this moment, if I query, it gives us the answer correctly. Then I say, who is owner of JNAI X? Company. Let's see whether it respond or not. Still saying that. Okay, so why it is not responding the answer? Because after uploading the document, I haven't restarted my application. And that is the reason that it is not taking the latest uh, data. Okay, so I'm going to restart my application now. Now I'm going to put up the same query. Who is the owner of JNAI X? Okay, so I got the response. The owner of JNAI company is Mr. Mahato. And if you see the document, okay, this is what I have given. Okay. 
let me try some different prompt and I ask uh, what gen, gen AI X is building. Okay, so it is saying that Gen AI X is currently working on building artificial general intelligence. Okay, that is what I have given here. Okay, in documents. Okay, so now in this tutorial, we have successfully loaded the data from S3 bucket and then we successfully queried through this LLM. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you in this. Uh, tutorial and I hope you really liked it. So don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to like this tutorial. Thank you so much for your time. We'll see you in my next tutorial. Till the time you have a very lovely day.